in this video let me consider one numerical on superposition theorem using superposition theorem find current through 20 ohm resistor in the circuit shown below this is the given circuit we supposed to find the current through 20 ohm resistor using superposition theorem so this is a given circuit we supposed to find the current i which flows through 20 ohm resistor using superposition theorem. We know that in superposition theorem, we supposed to consider one source at a time. Here in this circuit, we have three sources that is 12 amp current source, E voltage source and 50 volt voltage source. First, let me consider 50 volt source alone. Consider 50 volt source alone. So in that case, the voltage source E will be short circuited and 12 amp current source will be open circuited. That is E is short circuited and 12 amp is open circuited. Let me redraw the circuit considering 50 volt source alone. That is we have 50 volt. So here the register R1 is connected parallel with 50 volt register. So it acts as a redundant that is voltage across R1 is 50 volt itself in that case we can neglect r1 so just ignore this r1 register i will connect 2 ohm register directly this is 2 ohm and here we have 20 ohm register say this is 5 ohm so here there is a voltage source i will short this voltage source and there is r2 register and here we have open circuited that is current source so this is the circuit now 50 volt i will assume that current through this register is i1 so as this circuit is open circuit here no current flows in r2 register so let me uh, solve this using uh, kvl I will assume that current through this branch loop is x, let current through this loop is y. So applying KVL to loop x, that is apply KVL to loop x. So that is 50 is equal to voltage across 2 ohm is 2x plus voltage across 20 is 20 x plus y as x and y are flowing in 20 ohm register simplifying this 50 is equal to we have 2x plus 20x plus 20y that is 50 is equal to we have 22x plus 20y we will call it as equation 1 now apply kvl to loop y that is apply kvl to loop y so there is no any voltage sources 0 is equal to we have 20 x plus y plus we have 5 y simplifying this 0 is equal to we have 20 x plus 25 y so now solving equation 1 and 2 we can find x and y that is solving equation 1 and 2 we get x is equal 8.333 and y is equal to we have minus 6.667 so therefore i1 is equal to x plus y x plus y or i1 is equal to 1.667 amp so this is the current I1 flows through 20 ohm register when we consider 50 volt source alone. Consider 12 amp source alone. So in that case, this E voltage source will be short circuited and this voltage will be short circuited. So when 50 volt source is short circuited, then R1 will also be short circuited. So let me draw the equivalent circuit that is we have 
2 ohm resistor so here there is a short circuit and we have 20 ohm this is 20 ohm here we have 5 ohm and here there is a E which is short circuited and we have a register in series and there is 12 amp current source this is the equivalent circuit if you consider 12 volt source alone so here the register R1 is in series with 12 ohm 12 amp current source if register is in series with current source then registers can be ignored ignore this register so now this 12 amp current will flow in this direction so here in this circuit 5 ohm 20 ohm and 2 ohm are in parallel as we are finding current through 20 ohm register let's keep 20 ohm register as it is so reducing 2 ohm and 5 ohm as they are parallel i will try to replace these two register by single register by taking equivalent value that is r is equal to 2 is parallel with 5 which is 10 divided by 7 let me redraw the circuit say this is 10 by 7 parallel to this we have 20 ohm register and we have here current source of magnitude 12 amp let current through this is i2 so now by applying current division rule I can write that is by applying current division rule I can write I2 is equal to total current into opposite resistor divided by sum of register that is 20 plus 10 by 7 so solving this will get 0 0.8 amps so therefore i2 is equal to 0 0.8 amps so now as in this circuit there is another voltage source known as e so if we consider voltage source e then current source 12 amp and 50 volt 12 amp will be open circuited and 50 volt is short circuited let me draw the circuit now that is now consider E alone let me draw the circuit here there is the voltage source short circuited and as R1 is parallel to this it will be short circuited there is a 2 ohm this is 2 ohm and here we have 20 ohm and here we have 5 ohm there is voltage source E here and there is a register and here a voltage current source is short open circuited so this is the equivalent circuit let current I3 is I3 is the current flows through 20 ohm register when considering E alone as voltage source E is open circuited therefore current in the circuit will be zero E is open circuit so no current flows so therefore i3 is equal to 0 so now the total current therefore total current flows through 20 ohm is I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 that is I is equal to we have 1.66 plus 0 0.8 plus 0 therefore I is equal to we have 1.66 plus 0.8 it gives 2.8 Four six amps. This is the total current flows through two point four. This is the total current flows through twenty ohm register. Thank you for watching.